bottom line is, for me, you can go through stunning the stern. It's just, it's just not there. Yeah, I mean, it's just not there. Your, your portion of my life changed my life. I mean, my friendship with you changed my life. But it never changed my life the way it changed George's life. That's the best way to say it to you. Like, hey man, you know what? Um, it, it didn't go into bank accounts. It didn't go into all the, you know, buying whores. It didn't even play the business. I just did the buy ass thing. Because that's just my game plan. But I am. I didn't do that shit. Now, do I pull 300 bucks out of, you know, my ATM account and whatever, you know, which would have normally, you know, I've been using for, you know, you know the, the day-to-day operations and stuff. You know, but that just, it, it just blends in. With, you're not going to see it anyplace. This is the one that uh, on the boat. Yeah. Because I remember at like, one point in time, to pay for some of the shit that I had going on, like you know, the, the, you know, the docking fees and some of the shit. I made a box of thousand bucks into my, my checking account. But again, that's going to blend in the trilogy. You can cover that with other shit. Well, not no, like the only thing you find in your is Matthew would give Matthew would get gifts. And Matthew, people would give him Matthew cash. I'd get you know, 600, 1,000, 1,200, 1,500 bucks. And he'd have this thing stacked up. So I would deposit it, you know, into my account. I'd write a check into his savings account or I'd make a transfer into his savings account. You're going to see like, you know, a, a, a pretty le- legitimate pattern of, you know, uh, a chunk of money would come in and it would go someplace else, you know. But there will always be small sums of, you know, of cash because generally it came from truthfully, but you know, literally, grace of God on this deal. People would give Matthew money you know, and for a birthday or Christmas. Mm-hmm. And the kid never spent money. He didn't have he didn't really spend money. So he'd end up with more money than I had in my wallet. He'd have, you know, five five hundred, a thousand bucks. He would leave around the house. You know, I would take the money. You know, I would deposit that into you know, my account. I would write a check into his account. Or I'd use it, I'd deposit it in my account, and, you know, it would have been, it would have bought him a, a, a PlayStation or something like that. But I'd be paying myself back with the money from, you know, he'd had all the stuff, well, we wouldn't pay cash for it. I'd, you know, charge it or buy a check for it. But it's chump stuff. I mean, you can literally piece one against the other. It's not like... $5,150 came in, $5,150 came out, $5,000 went into the savings account, you know. Flat ass, didn't it? I know you wouldn't do that. I just want to make goddamn sure there's no cameras in a hotel. Oh, no, no, no. Any peninsula, any fucking Four Seasons, any, any place where I'm on the fucking stand saying... I did not give him that fucking money, and they fucking produce a, a fucking film. Because these motherfuckers have been working this oh, yeah. for where we're we at, four years, five years. Don, I'll take the only time that, first of all, just to kind of back. Then we're fucked. Yeah. Say this to you. Yeah. 
clearly tied. You never, ever gave me cash. Honestly, you never ever gave me cash. They would play hell fine at that point in time where anybody saw you handed me any money at all. Except for George. Listen to this. Okay, okay. Right. You never, ever gave me cash. Ever. Ever. You never handed me cash. You gave me a check for that Hoffman. I gave you that Hoffman. It was part of that that, thing. that was, you know, you and I were having lunch. You go, hey, I'm not going to be able to send my drop off for it, but it was a check. You never gave me cash. Gone to my Ever. Just never did. Now, did George ever get something that uh, you were supposed to have my friend? Hey, man, I, that I don't know. I don't know. I can tell you, Don Hyder never, ever gave me cash. And George Harmeal never gave me cash. So fuck George Harmeal. Because I can tell you right now, you can have all the cameras in the world. Don Hyder never gave me cash. And here's one that will cement that for you. We were in your house, and this is after George and I had our cataclysmic breakdown. We, you and I were in your house. He had a cold. I can tell you that last time. What's that? You got it last time. I'll no, I was just going to make an example of something serious. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought it was too good. You got it. You open it up. You want to tell me? Cup of coffee or anything? How about a Bailey's coffee? Bailey's coffee? That sounds good. Yeah. You want one too? I wish I could. Ah, uh, too. <laughs> I'll, I'll work on the. On the I have a cream okay on that? No whipped cream. No whipped cream. Do you no. want just a regular coffee with a shot of Bailey's on the side? No, just throw, no. It, in. Just okay. throw it on in. Okay. Do you want a regular coffee cup, though? Because they put it in, like, the long, skinny Whatever you think. cocktail coffee or the thing. Or you put it in a regular coffee mug. Give it a fancy one in the glass. <laughs> like the, the fancy one? Yeah, I'll pay the dollar extra. <laughs> oh, no. I know. I'm just kidding. Are we tired of looking at this yet, or are we still kind of picking at I'm it? I'm going to pick on that one right there. Okay. Do you want me to box the brie and the crab cake up for you? Not for me. Not for me. No, I'm good. No, but well, I'm going to eat that last little bit of that box. crab cake there. See, I'm not a big crab cake. He, I figured he would love the crab cake, so I went with that one for him. For so I just turned my crabs, I thought he liked it. I didn't, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know what it meant. <laughs> we, were, we were standing in your house at the place in Newport that had the really bitchin' uh, kitchen. J. Cole. J. Cole. And you had a pole. And you said, hey man, I just want you to. And you opened it up, and there was stuff in there. And I pulled it back up and go, Don, you know what? You should have never been doing that. I love you. By the way, I never needed anything, never wanted anything other than just your friendship. Okay. Other than that point in time. That's where the statute comes in, because that was at the time of Gregory. Of what? That was at the time of Gregory. We're five years beyond that. Oh, uh, really? Well, I can We're in now. August 2007. And that was in July 02. We're well, I can tell five you. years past that now. Yeah. I can tell you the following. A, you didn't give it to me. B, I didn't take it. But the reason I'm sharing that with you is in terms of Mike and Don, it was the one. And only time. The one and only time. That, that ever came into play. Ever. Ever. And the sad part for me at that, at, at that point is, you know, you were going through so much shit. You were still caring about me. You were still worried about me. I was worried about you. It's like, you know, two guys, like, like, like you know, it's like, or in the fucking crab cake. Like, I hate crap, man. I thought you'd like crap. <laughs> Would you be happy? <laughs> so, 
unless it was a pinhole in your ceiling that evening, it never fucking happened. Because it never fucking happened. Never fucking happened. And that part is why I sleep real well at night. I mean, on all this shit, it's, I know what Don Hyland has done for me in my life. And I know you have been a stand-up motherfucker, and you have taken care of me, and you've taken care of my family, and you've been nothing but good to me. Ever, from the day, day one I met you. I didn't know that. But you could literally hit me with a sodium pencil and say, how much money did Don Hyland put into your campaign? I mean, I don't think Don Hyland put a penny in my campaign. I know Don Heidel, you know, asked a lot of people to support me and, and pulled in a lot of chits for his friends. People who probably didn't know who the fuck my friend was and why they wanted to invest in me. But Don Heidel made that. Probably Don Heidel made it for a penny. I know Don Heidel. Never heard gave me a penny, directly, never gave me a penny. Now, I do know, yeah, Don, I don't give me a book. I mean, you did give me a book, man. It's <laughs> like, you know, it's like, and I couldn't take a book, and I wrote a check for that. Now, that's the part that's going to be the interesting, you know, discussion around, you know, what happened next. But I also know, even on that one, I swear to God, on this, on this piece, you could hit me, you put me in the box with this other kind of You never gave me. I know what took place, but you never gave me. You ever, never, ever gave me. It just didn't come that direction at all. And that's not a predicting, that's just the flat ass truth of the matter. I'm okay getting up on the stand and saying that. Hopefully either one of us got the stand and say that. I mean, hopefully that don't ever happen. I'm okay getting up on the stand and saying that. I want to make goddamn sure. Both on the same page, we're both and I and I want to. I'm sorry. No, because they were both on the same page, and here's the deal on this one, though. Because you get the speed. Thank you. No, is that the, is that the special glass? That's the special glass. Yeah. Very cool. It is. <laughs> I think the, the other thing that's unique about this relationship is they can't get one without the other. And somebody's going to go first. 